Oh man, there's so many fun things to show you guys. After last week and the previous one for Black Friday, I managed to grab a lot of laptops on great deals. Some of them are really, really interesting and I was looking forward to review them on my channel for a long, long time. Finally, I had a chance to grab some of those and show it to you on the channel. Hey guys, welcome back to the How Says channel. My name is Ivan and today we are looking at this Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. I am so excited about this one. So I've been waiting for it to come on a great deal so I can finally grab it and review it for you guys and show it to you. And finally it was here, Lenovo delivered during the Black Friday promotions. They finally lowered down the price for around $1,500 and I grabbed this high spec Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. This is the i version, which means it's with Intel. What it has inside is Intel i7-11800H. 16 gigabytes of RAM, NVIDIA RTX 3070, and one terabyte of internal NVMe storage. Of course, the screen is the QHD option with 500 nits, HDR, G-Sync, and all the goodies with low latency and stuff like that. So I'm very, very excited to review this one and kind of compare it to some of the other options I have compared to the last year's winner and my favorite gaming laptop, the older now Lenovo Legion not pro of course we're going to compare it to some of the rtx 3060 versions like the one i have on the lenovo idea pad gaming 3 and uh, i have another one coming my way with uh, a little bit more intriguing rtx 3060 but stay tuned to the channel and we're going to have a tons of videos coming in the next couple weeks i'm going to try to do a big slew of videos but without further ado as always we're going to go to the unboxing uh, overview internals and see some of the options we can do of improving this laptop and some of the upgrades uh, and i'm going to have uh, a dedicated video for the gaming performance as well but for now we're just going to do this maybe i'm going to run some cinebench uh, r20 and just to see how the temperature is and the performance of the cpu uh, again very exciting stay tuned and we're going to go straight into the unboxing and then we're going to move on to the rest of it and at the end conclusion rather a large box from Lenovo this time around uh, but it definitely looks a little bit better more premium with the giant legion uh, logo on top of it if you remember the last unboxing of the Lenovo legion last year uh, it was a lot thicker box uh, definitely different than most of boxes i've seen now it's just thinner but wider and without further ado let me open the lid and show you the contents and i will swing it around because it's quite large even to fit on my desk um, and you will see right here we have a little box and the laptop is just isolated with this foam if you remember again last year when we were pulling the foam out it was kind of raising the laptop no more the case now now we have just this we have this kind of an x-shaped foam that it's uh, wrapped around the laptop and i will just put it to the side for a second and see what else is in the bottom so we have some legion pamphlets quick start guide and a warranty information nothing really that we should care about put it back inside and let's see what's inside the little box which little relatively <laughs> because it's kind of a big interesting right in the bottom we have lenovo legion stickers very nice with the logo and wow this is a massive massive charger i knew that this charger is going to be big but this 300 watt power supply is just absolutely massive attached permanently cable right here rubber feet on the bottom 300 watts and Lenovo's proprietary charger all held together with this hook and loop strap and we have a very thick power supply cable that is similar to desktop cables clearly with some cover on the prongs and that's pretty much it for the contents of the box all right let me take it out of this uh, foam one on the top one on the bottom very nice again packed in this recycled fabric here it is quite different look from the top compared to the older model now we have this legion logo right here at least we have the lid is metal now and i, I believe the bottom yeah the bottom is also metal so only the frame is plastic in the top where the keyboard is plastic we have Large foot on the back with a Legion logo. A lot of perforations for the ventilation. Big front to rubber feet as well. And of course, we're gonna look inside. But if we go to the ports, on the right side, we have a large vent on the back, a USB port and the physical switch 
for the camera. On the left side, we have another vent exhaust right here, USB-C slash Thunderbolt, combo jack, 3.5 millimeter. And in the back is where all the magic is, two vents, and we have the RGA45 LAN port. We have another Thunderbolt, USB-C, two USB-A fast ones. We have the HDMI port. We have another USB port that this one can be used for charging as well. And then we have the charging port uh, at the end and they're all marked right here on the back. Very nice touch by Lenovo, I love this. So you don't have to really fiddle uh, too much when trying to plug in uh, stuff in the back. Very, very nice to see uh, this upgraded version of the Lenovo Legion and kind of looks thinner than the previous generation. Let's open that 16 inch screen, a little bit bigger than the last year, 15.6. Uh, very thin and narrow bezels, again, cover the keyboard with this recycled fabric, which almost looks like paper, it's very thin. And we have our regular Lenovo Legion support pamphlet, which they provide for pretty much any Lenovo uh, laptop. Similar keyboard to the previous generation, similar look. Now we don't have this rubberized plastic like on the old one. It's more of a matte, just matte plastic. Again, these stickers that I don't like being on this side, the Core i7 and RTX, ideally they would have been here. And now the sticker for the functions, FN and Q for the different power modes was moved from here down here. I don't know why. This was a perfect placement right here out of the way. Don't have to be underneath your palm, but it is what it is. Large truck pad, similar to last year's. And unfortunately is the same placement kind of towards your uh, left side where your hand is going to be resting. So you might be touching this accidentally, but uh, personally, I didn't have a problem. I just don't like aesthetically how it looks. It would have been nice if it was more towards the middle, but then we're going to have to sacrifice these full size arrow buttons, unfortunately. But yeah, before I fire it up, why don't we just go ahead and open it and see what's inside and what we can upgrade. And then we're going to turn it on and we'll see what kind of cool things we can see on that keyboard backlit, all metal. Um, that's one of the things I really like about Lenovo improving from the previous year is they put metal on the bottom and on the top lid. So now we have only uh, plastic in the middle and it's uh, kind of a premium look for uh, this laptop. And let's go ahead and open the back side. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. And the screwdriver attachment that I'm using is the Phillips 00. Hopefully you guys can see it. Now I'm seeing the screws are different length. So make sure that you are placing them correctly and don't mismatch. Uh, some of them are short. The ones on the front are short. And then the ones towards the back in the middle are longer. So these have to be put in specific order. That's why I'm lining them up the way they are coming out of the laptop. So I'm a little bit disappointed. Uh, this year, Lenovo has made it very difficult to open this back lid, uh, despite the fact that we have standard screws and they're placed visibly without underneath any of the legs. Uh, right around this area here, where the metal meets the plastic, you'll see how the whole lid comes together. Uh, the top is metal, but then we have that plastic with the vents on the back and the port covers, all that comes together. And once you reach that point, you're going to start from the front. Front is always much better to start on this model. But when you reach here in the back, this plastic is held with these plastic tabs towards the bottom. It's very strong. So you be extra careful and extra patient not to break off any of those tabs. And you can kind of see them here on the side, multiple tabs on both ends, this side and this side as well. Um, I hope I didn't break any of mine. I don't think I did. I was very patient, but uh, the laptop will put a lot of resistance. So you gotta be very careful and make sure not to do it. The arc reactor of Legion. Okay, interesting. That's, uh, that's something new I haven't seen before. Uh, so yeah, let's move this lid to the side and then we'll see the internals. So what we have is our battery. This is the 80 watt hour battery uh, right at the bottom. If you remember the old model, I'll put some pictures. If you don't uh, here, we had some more room to install a 2.5 inch SATA drive. Not anymore. We have two NVMe drive storage covers right here. Right here is our memory, but everything is covered. I'm going to try to pop off everything and show you guys what can you expect. So. Right here on the neat, we're gonna look at the memory first right away. Right underneath the black 
metal bracket here. We have our memory and what is the memory is Samsung. But let's look at the label real quick and see some of the specs. So this is unfortunately the slower memory they use here, single rank x16 memory not not good to see definitely you're gonna get a lot better performance if you have dual rank or if you have x8 memory this one is okay hopefully it's not gonna hinder our performance too much but it is what it is so what else is uh, we have inside the nvme drives i'm gonna remove the shielding of this one and copper heatsink passively with thermal pads for the nvme drive and the NVMe drive is SK Hynix. This is one terabyte drive. And of course we have our Intel AX201 right next to it. So yeah, good options here. One terabyte SK Hynix and Intel AX201 wireless card. So what we have in the back is our two fans for the GPU and the CPU. Uh, two thick pipes are going from both sides and we have additional smaller pipe right here. But the size of these pipes, look at them. Uh, They're about as thick as my finger. So that's why the cooling solution on those Lenovo Legions is very good. And uh, let me unscrew this one here and see if they gave us the thermal pad at least underneath. So if we want to install an extra storage, maybe another one terabyte or maybe two terabyte NVMe drive. Good news, even on the other side of this heatsink, uh, which unfortunately it's not copper, this is just tin metal, but at least it's here. We have our thermal pads and right here we can install another NVMe drive, same size 22 by 80. So yeah, that's a good thing to see. And you see the battery for the BIOS, it's right underneath. On left and the right, we have our speakers. So yeah, what else? Not much here. We have a wireless card that we can upgrade. We have the NVMe drive, and then we have the secondary NVMe drive. We have the battery, two speakers, and the memory. And just for a quick comparison, the IdeaPad Gaming 3, you'll see how much thicker the pipes of the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro are, are providing much more cooling. Uh, but yeah, let me take this out of the way and we're going to continue. So yeah, my plans for upgrades here will be the memory and expanding the storage. Uh, I'm actually going to grab a dual rank kit, faster memory, so we can make some comparison. I'll do a future video, obviously after the gaming, the way it is, stock, and we'll see what kind of performance we're going to get, what kind of frames. And after I upgrade the memory to faster one, we're gonna see if there's any difference, if faster memory or dual rank memory will help us with the performance compared to some Ryzen models that we know they get significantly better performance. I'm not sure if that's the same case with the Intel chips, but we're gonna test that and see. I am going to hunt a kit that is dual rank and try to buy it and upgrade and show it to you guys on the future videos. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty impressed with the internals and the way Lenovo has presented the new Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. With all the upgrades, covers, everything looks a lot more premium, a lot more professional, materials are better, uh, cooling solution is very good as always. But yeah, definitely a winner. But as I mentioned, I have a couple more coming. So we're gonna do comparisons. We're gonna do comparison with the IdeaPad a Gaming 3 and some older models and see how everything stacks together. Let's move on to the overview of the software, keyboard and the rest of it. So definitely putting everything back together is easier than taking it out. Just put the lid back on, press on all four corners, slightly in the front until it clicks. And then we can place our screws back together on all the places and screw it back in. Now that everything is put back together, we're just gonna flip it around and turn it on. And one detail that I really like and I just noticed recently, you see the little logo here for Legion, they put it on the back of the lid. Very nice touch on both sides. And if you have the laptop uh, plugged in, you'll see the back of the logo right here lits up. Uh, right now it's on standby. That's why it's gonna be blinking. And there's a light indication right here where the cable is plugged in. And when it's charging, this white color will change to amber. Once it's charged, it's gonna turn into white. The hinges feel uh, a little bit different than last year's. I know a lot of people were complaining uh, about earlier models of the Lenovo Legion 5 and the hinge being a little bit loose or making clicking noises. Uh, this one is not making any noises at all. Uh, it's very stiff. The, the screen is not wobbling at all when you're typing. Uh, whatever position you leave it, it's gonna stay there. Uh, maybe because it's metal this time around or maybe just they reworked the hinge to be a lot better. 
but it's definitely looking and feeling uh, better and this screen is so bright once you're on windows quick note you guys are gonna notice that we have windows 10 here this laptop comes within windows 11 but i cheated a little bit and didn't show you on the screen or on the video uh, because it takes a bit of a time i just wiped it clean uh, removed that windows 11 and installed a fresh windows 10 Everything was picked up uh, by Windows 10, all the drivers were installed and the only two things that you need to look for and install, they're located in the Microsoft Store uh, and they are the Lenovo Vantage software and the Lenovo hotkeys. So these are the two uh, pieces of software you need to grab in order for you to enjoy fully your Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. With installing Windows 10, you need to have the Lenovo Vantage to be able to control everything and you need to have the Lenovo hotkeys. That's the visual or on-screen menu or representation. Whenever you're changing something with the key combinations, like the caps lock right here, it's going to show you the icon right away. I love that. You'll see how it changes between lowercase and uppercase. These are the only two things you have to install and that's it but just a word of advice if you want the best possible performance get rid of that windows 11 go back to windows 10 and off you go until microsoft fixes the performance issues with windows 11 and gaming uh, i am going to stay with windows 10 and do all my tests with windows 10 so maybe further down the line when they rework some patching and uh, issues uh, we're going to change to windows 11 and do some tests there but for now, Windows 10 is where I need to be. Another big surprise for me uh, was actually the panel. Lenovo are mentioning on their website um, the resolution that's 165 uh, hertz, that it has uh, HDR 400, that it's 500 nits bright, and it's indeed extremely bright. But they're not even mentioning the best thing that this panel is G Sync capable, and we have G Sync on it, which is excellent news. This is exactly what we need as gamers to have G-Sync on the panels. And that makes this panel absolutely outstanding. I have another laptop coming my way that the company was blasting that the, <laughs> on their website that the screen is G-Sync all over the place. Uh, and I'm not sure why Lenovo are keep quiet on it because this is uh, an excellent feature. And we're gonna compare both screens of those uh, laptops. This one and the one that's coming my way. You guys are gonna see in a future video. Uh, but yeah, this is great news. The resolution is 2560 by 1600, which is more than 2560 by 1440. Gives you a little bit more real estate, horizontal, and of course, 165 Hertz as mentioned. So yeah, we're gonna have some nice performance with the RTX 3070 at 140 Watts as advertised by Lenovo and that Core i7 11800H, which is eight core, 16 thread processor with 34 megabytes of cache and memory, we have 16 gigabytes. So that's pretty much it for the overview and some of the internals guys, let's move on to the conclusion. All right, conclusion time. And what do I think about the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro? Absolutely exceptional performance. And this laptop is everything that I was hoping it's gonna be with very little negatives and all the positives that I can bring to you and you guys can see it. And I'm sure most of you are very familiar with this model because when it appeared early in the year, first of all, it was released uh, overseas in Asia and Europe and finally came to the United States uh, kind of like three, four months ago. So it's fairly new for our market, but uh, those of you that are international and you live outside of the States, you're very familiar with it, you know what's up. But for us, this was very exciting and the versions with Intel and Ryzen are also available. Uh, why do I choose the Intel one? Well, it was on sale. That was the best deal at the moment. I, and I was really curious to see how that i7 11800H will perform compared to the older versions of the i7 and compared to the Ryzen models. Um, now, you're gonna see, on kind of spoiler alert, you're gonna see on the next uh, couple of videos, Actually, this one outperforms in gaming uh, a lot of the Ryzen models, which is no surprise. Um, so if you're really targeting gaming and this is your prime motivation of getting a laptop, this is the one to get. I'm going to put that word out there even before reviewing all the other laptops coming my way from Alienware, uh, from Gigabyte. I'm going to have a lot of laptops coming so we can compare and see which one is the best. But my wild prediction from the moment of seeing this laptop is that this is gonna be the best performer again, just like the one from last year. Lenovo did a great job again with coming up with excellent cooling solution. 
great saddle design um, granted a little bit more than what we saw last year uh, like the logo here on the back of the lids uh, lighting up and all that stuff really not necessary personally i prefer to have more saddle look uh, kind of a sleeper look uh, similar to the lenovo idea pad a gaming 3 that there's nothing on the back it doesn't scream oh i'm a gamer but at the same time it has a lot of punch under the hood so yeah a little bit more gamer looking like but it is what it is uh, the changes on the outside the lid is now metal obviously uh, opposed to the plastic of the old one uh, but the rest of the body is pretty much the same uh, slightly tuned up and improved uh, cooling uh, obviously the internals here are much more powerful that's why we have this giant 300 watt uh, power supply and the fans are running pretty much constantly but even on the heavy load the fans are not as loud as i was expecting them to be or i've seen on other laptops uh, great port selection we have most of them in the back my preferred way that way the cables when you plug them in they're out of the way and obviously the most important thing being able to hardware disable optimus or have a mux switch perfect with the lenovo legion versions uh, pretty much across the board you can do that and enjoy uh, your performance because if you're buying this kind of laptops obviously you want performance you you don't care that much about uh, battery life or well, personally i don't hopefully you guys are doing the same because if you're buying a gaming laptop battery life should not be your prime concern uh, and if you want a better life, just get yourself an Ultrabook or a Chromebook and enjoy a long life of the battery. For gaming, uh, I want it to be powerful and I want it to squeeze everything possible out of the CPU and the GPU. And here, this is possible. You have a higher TDP on the RTX 3070, up to 140 watts. So you are looking at performance that it's very close and sometimes surpasses uh, RTX 3080s on some models. Uh, CPU is boosting up great and performance in Cinebench is exceptional. I'm actually very surprised how high the score of this uh, i7 is, even compared to the Ryzen, surpasses some of the Ryzen models. Again, very surprising to me. I was not expecting that kind of performance, knowing how bad the 11 series uh, Intel processors are for desktop, but for mobile, apparently they're killer. Compared to the older model, I have a full RGB keyboard here with four zones. The last one I had, it was only one zone. Really not my kind of deal, but I know a lot of people love RGB and this is a great option. Uh, for me personally, single color would have been fine, but it is what it is. It's an added bonus for those of you that enjoy that kind of stuff. One thing I don't like is the Lenovo moving the physical switch on the lid for the camera off to the side right here. Personally would prefer to have something completely covering the camera. And this is one of the best features that Lenovo came up with all their previous models. Uh, I don't know what prompt uh, this change, maybe just the looks. Some people didn't like it maybe, uh, but just worth mentioning what is bothering me. Uh, the rest of it, excellent. Internals are perfect. You can change your memory. You can upgrade your memory. You can add another NVMe drive and expand your storage. The one that comes in, one terabyte, it's great, but adding another one terabyte will tremendously expand your storage for games and stuff like that. You can upgrade the Wi-Fi card, but why would you? It's already Intel, it's the best, so keep it the way it is. Um, repasting is not really necessary, but if you wanna do it, it's not hard to do. One thing I'm missing is the 2.5 inch SSD drive caddy on the older model. You can just pick up a cheaper and larger capacity uh, and a SATA 3 drive and just pop it in, use it as your game uh, storage here. Now we don't have a space for that. Uh, we have another NVMe drive, but luckily the prices are going down and they will continue to go down uh, so you can just upgrade and don't worry about any of that for now i am just gonna leave you this option is great and for those of you that grabbed it during the black friday um, discounts for around 1500 dollars this is the best option it was the best option of gaming laptop you can get if you can fit it in your budget but as always, and just like last year, I'm gonna have some more budget oriented laptops and maybe I have a contender to dethrone my Lenovo Legion Idea Pad Gaming 3 from the seat of the most powerful and best RTX 3060 uh, based uh, gaming laptop for around a thousand dollars so you're gonna have to stay and see that video very soon but yeah next video we're gonna do a lot of game testing on the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro and see how that one performs compared to the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 3060 and compared to the last year's champion the Lenovo Legion 5 with the RTX 2060 yeah that's it for now guys lengthy video as always but you know me i'd like to go in a lot of details if you want to support this channel check out the link on the description below hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned and as always guys you have a wonderful day